Hello, happy hashtag Fossil Friday everyone. Discovery Park of America hopes that you and everyone that you care about are keeping safe. Now, so that you can hear me, I'm going to take this off for a moment and talk to you about Ian. Now, Ian is a Mosasaur, and Mosasaurs lived during the Cretaceous period. Ian, in particular, is about 70 million years old. And being 70 million years old can be quite hard on a fossil, especially when it's uh, got slender and delicate pieces, as Ian does right here. Uh, Ian is a, uh, a real fossil except for parts of his tail. Now, you can look and see that some of, some of Ian needs a little bit of help. Uh, if you look at Ian's ribs, you'll see that they have those shiny things are support structures to make sure that Ian's ribs stay as intact as possible and can be as appreciated by folks that drop by Discovery Park. But I wondered if you noticed while you were looking at those ribs that one of the ribs is missing. You see, sometimes Damage to fossils can be quite subtle. Missing a bone isn't immediately obvious, but unfortunately, Ian is missing a rib on the near side. Uh, about the third long one back, there's one missing. Now, we have this rib right here. It was recovered, and Discovery Park eagerly looks forward to having paleontologists and other experts uh, reconstruct this fossil to make sure that everybody who visits Discovery Park enjoys it. Uh, this does happen every once in a while. You know, when you take a fossil out of the ground, you're, you're responsible for it. Uh, fossils can be so fragile that uh, they're wrapped in plaster, just like your bone might be when it's broken, if you have a plaster cast to be taken back to the science lab. Um, the, the, this, this is a continuing process. Fossils need conservation and they need care. I remember the day when I walked in here and I realized that poor Mosasaur Ian's teeth were missing. Now you might say, well, Mr. Russell, I, I can see plain as day that Ian has lots of teeth. Why do you think his teeth are missing? Well, Ian has more teeth than we do. Uh, reptiles like snakes, uh, mosasaurs, and some other extinct animals have what are called pterygoid teeth. They have an extra set of teeth on the roof of their mouth. I came here one day and I saw them right here on the floor and I was so sad. I mean, I certainly hope that nobody messed with Ian, but I don't think that's what happened. I don't think somebody poked just inside of the skull with a stick. It's much more likely that the fossil was just uh, fragile and delicate and old. But we, we do have uh, these, these, these teeth uh, uh, on hand, and we're going to uh, get them fixed up, get Ian into really good shape so that everybody can see all of Ian's teeth. And even though Ian doesn't have his pterygoid teeth, uh, this Tylosaurus here does. So if you look up here, you can see there's teeth on the jaw, there's maxillary and dentary teeth, but further back, you know, where the roof of our mouth would be, there's an extra set of teeth. Now, just imagine, you th we think about how hard it was to notice some of these things missing in the fossil. If that had just been dug up and there weren't other animals to compare this to, it would be incredibly difficult to figure out what went where or what was missing. A paleontologist's job of figuring out what ancient creatures look like, especially ones that haven't been discovered before, is very difficult. And once you get the fossil out of the ground to show it to people in museums and educational facilities, the paleontologist's work is never truly done. Happy Fossil Friday, everyone.